Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20. So you might notice I'm still wearing the same stuff from last episode. That's because I'm just jumping straight into this. I really want to see what Todo's technique was that left us on that cliffhanger. And I have a bit of time, so I'm just going to jump straight into this. So before I do, be sure to check out the Patreon. Over there you can find one week early access. So you can get episode 21 right now. You can get full length timer based reactions so you can just sync up your own footage and watch along with me without having edit anything edited out and you can have polls so you can vote for what's next because we're trying to come up with the show to replace Jujutsu Gaisen because we're kind of coming to the end here so if you have any suggestions for like shorter shows maybe like 20, 13 episode long shows or like 26 episode long shows leave a comment and now let's see what I can do. I do have a my anime list, so I might leave it in the description so you can see what shows I have already watched because I have watched quite a lot of anime. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's just jump into it. Non-standard. Is that Todo's technique is non-standard? <laughs> Who is seeing here? <laughs> Was that Todo as a kid? Okay. It seems like Todo has kind of very strong moral values. So he wants to... <laughs> okay. Is this like his teacher or something? Someone who helped him out? And <laughs> she asked what his typing woman was. Okay. Let's see what it is. Scotland. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> his, his analysis is great. Yeah, it's the relaxing thing. And the, yeah, there's that left arm, something to do with that flower bud, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> Is he, like, super, super, super smart? Or is that just, like, him bragging? <laughs> no, don't tell me that was it. We're not going to see it. Nah, that's... Oh, his clap. Yeah. I forgot about that. He has his clap so he can swap places with people. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Boogie Woogie. <laughs> That's the name. Okay. He's giving away that clapping is necessary. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Makes it so hard to defend. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> it's like an orchestra or like a composer or something. <laughs> That's on the faces as well. <laughs> oh, he's got the record for the most black flashes. Yeah, he's in the zone so he can do it easier. <laughs> oh, it's only four times. Is Itadori gonna break the record right now? I feel like Itadori's gonna break it at some point. It seems like 
That didn't do as much damage? Or is it just a delayed... It didn't like blow off the arms or anything. Oh, did it with a kick? So that was free. No. Oh, well, that was free. <laughs> He's tearing up. Hey, that one was just a bluff. That's great. It's just a fourth one. Yeah. So giving it away, him giving it away earlier actually kind of helped. He gets the same energy and that was four. The record is tied and he did it so easily. I'm loving all his hand to hand combat. He's got a hole in his hand. I wonder what that's about. That was another backlash. Oh yeah, attack before that they can swap. She's enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was great. Make it attack itself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's his fantasy. Takada. <laughs> so these are different. They grow by absorbing the curse energy. So if he just lets them hit him normally without any curse energy, they have nothing to grow onto. So he is just super smart. Oh, uh, they're just absorbing back. <laughs> and Hanabi was distracted. Ooh. Look how much the shoulders were walking there. Yeah, is it just living beings? Is it anything? <laughs> okay, anything with cursed energy. They're going to swap. Oh, the weapon. Kazuko-ni, <laughs> Oh, right in the face. Are we going to take care of Hanami? Like, are they actually going to be able to exercise it? Oh, it's using the hand now. It's killing everything around it. Oh, it's like one arm's death, one arm's growth. But this is like death and it's absorbing all the energy. Mm, okay. So now it's even stronger. Is it just an energy blast? So it's just been like storing up loads of energy. And Gojo got out. He broke the veil. Was it because um, the old man defeated the other guy? <laughs> Look at that. He looks angry. Oh, he like amplifies the energies at his whole thing. Yeah. Oh, another new person. So they have some, they have quite a team of people. Juzo. Yes, him. Okay. There's a cool design for the sword. <laughs> the barrel's back up. Unless <laughs> I'm seeing the veils come down. <laughs> so, did Gojo do it himself? 
He's just like observing the whole situation. Are they all just going to retreat? Yeah, he's realized. This music is cool. <laughs> he's just going to... Broke all of his limbs. Oh, take him hostage. Yeah, we know that it can escape from Gojo. Oh. Blue and red. Amplification and reversal. Does that mean he can, if someone attacks him, he can re amplify the attack and reverse it back onto them? Oh, wow. Has that exercised it? Oh, so it was Gojo that was non-standard. Oh, you can't tell. So that leaves the possibility for it to return. Okay, Mojito still got out there. Okay, so he manipulated two people. Was it just... Were they just there to steal a finger? He was like inside somewhere. Was he inside the school? He had like infiltrated and stolen a finger. Was that the whole point? The rest was all just a distraction. Now we know the school is kind of vulnerable to being attacked by them. Dog or cat? Oh, okay. A <laughs> panda creeping in the background. Nobara's cats, okay. <laughs> that wasn't an option, come on. <laughs> hey, so that's episode 20. So, you know sometimes you're like watching a show and you understand why people like it and you, you like enjoy it, but you never like fully are like properly in. But then an episode comes along where the hype just overtakes you and you are committed do you know what i mean that's kind of what these like last three episodes were for me it kind of happens with like my hero academia with the deco and todoroki fight or like full metal alchemist with episode 19 the lung the lung the lust and mustang fight and it was like these episodes the hype just like got to me i'm in i'm committed do you know what i mean what's great about having gojo outside the veil it just means that when we get that reveal that the veil is opened and when you see him standing there, it gives you like so much hope. It reminded me almost when All Might shows up during the USJ attack in episode 13 of My Hero. It just gives you so much hope. I realized we had seen Toto Senik with the clapping, but there's so much more layers to it because he can swap two people. It doesn't have to be him and someone else. And he can do it with anything that has energy. So when he did it with the weapon, that was a great surprise. We never fully got to see Hanami's bud. We never got to see like fully what that does. It was just like, um, we saw it like build up, but then it never released this blast, whatever it was. But that was cool, it's like one arm is death, one arm is life, and that's like really symbolic because Hanami represents like mother nature kind of thing. So that was really cool. I should have maybe picked up on that because one arm was black and one was white. That makes a lot of sense. And then we got this new power from Gojo, this purple thing. So we said that blue was enhancing and red was reversing. So I thought it'd be like someone attacks him, then he can enhance the energy and reverse it back onto them but he like combined the two into this energy ball and just sent it away so maybe he had cursed energy built up inside him and he used that to enhance and then reverse and it just creates this kind of paradox i don't know i'm not really sure on the explanation for that quite yet but it just caused devastation maybe hanami is exercised but they said you can't be sure so who knows, that just leaves the door open for Hanami to return later on, perhaps. Gojo was absolutely brutal with um, the craftsman guy. His limbs are just completely destroyed. And then there was that guy with the sword that was, like, holding his hand. 
we only got him for a brief second, but he it was quite a cool design, the sword. And then it seems like he's just run away, so that must be set up for later. He must return at some point. But yeah, I've really enjoyed these last episodes. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or a comment, or even subscribe so you can keep up to date for all the future uploads. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.